Yeah. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makinohara. But most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. Hmm? Oh. Okay.
sorry. What's going on? Who are you people? Oh, so this babe's Yumiko-chan, huh? Huh. She does look a bit on the older side, but <laughs> nothing a little lighting can't fix. <laughs> if anything, I like my ladies mature. Can't get enough of those milfs, huh? <laughs> what is this? Remember how we talked about sales? I thought I'd find you a little side job. Help make ends meet. Aren't I the sweetest? Shio-chan! Why? Don't sweat the details. Now this might get a little bit freaky, but isn't that your specialty? <laughs> Don't do this! Let me go! I know that voice. Yumiko-chan! Damn! Where is she? Put the fuck down! Dude, roll the camera. We can edit this shit out later. Quit squirming! You don't want me cutting more than your clothes, do ya? Stop! Crap! He's gonna do it! Ah! What in the fuck?! Oh, I figured. I could be hit by a truck buck naked and still wouldn't feel a thing. Who's this dirty old creep? I saved, Mr. Masochist! Kasuga-san? Oh, great. Another one. Look, we're filming something important here, so why don't you go piss off? Oh, am I in it? My agent never told me about this. Who wants to see your scroungy-looking ass? What? You plan on sticking around? Then we'll stick you to the side of the pavement! Damn straight! Stand a chance. Well, cool. Eyes on right. Come up. Take these scumbags and get lost. What you did to Yumiko was way beyond sick. And don't let there be a next time. Yes, sir. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks again for being there. Oh, and you too. You have no idea how grateful I am. Don't be. I'm not that important anyway. I'm pretty much a dead man walking. Numb to pleasure, numb to pain. Oh. For a guy like me, there's only one way out. Come on, you don't mean that. Normally I charge an arm and a leg for a slap like that, but you needed some sense knocked into you. You saved me from the worst nightmare I've ever experienced. I was scared out of my mind. Yet the first thing out of your mouth is how unimportant and worthless you are? That's not only disrespectful to me, but you disrespect yourself when you say things like that. Yumiko-chan. <gasps> that... Oh, that stings. Hmm? Anyway, I wanted to return the favor for helping me out not only once, but twice. I know it's not much, but I hope you like it anyway. 
As for you, let me say thank you again. Sorry I had to hit you. But what can I give you? If I may. Would asking for another smack be too much? Huh? When you hit me just now, I was stunned. I haven't felt that kind of pain in ages. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I go too far? The opposite! I don't mean to freak you out, but I love being stepped on, spit on, crushed, maimed, you name it. But lately I haven't been able to feel things, whether you tie me up or beat me down. That all changed with you. Never have I felt such burning admonition in my life. What you did was tenderize my heart. So please, I'm begging you. Tenderize my flesh once more. With this! You know I won't hold back. Wouldn't want you to, ma'am. Now execute me. Like you mean it, baby! Oh, oh gee! Oh, it hurts so good! <laughs> You're a naughty little boy. I've been a loss for words. I've never been lacerated so lovingly before. Perhaps this is being too forward. But could you flog me senseless like this from now until the end of time? I promise I'll make you satisfied. We could live strappily ever after together. Yeah, too far, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a tempting offer. A man who loves pain and a woman who lives to give it. You can't put a label on romance, I guess. Huh. Wonder what they named their kid. Last killer was seen over this way. Ah! He's... Huh? No way. So he's real after all. about I just want to talk good in my way and you'll pay hey hold up damn it all right if it's a fight you want watch me you're in it wow. now here we go Hey, you calm down yet? Jeez, you can't just be flinging blood around like that. I need more practice. 
dead. Damn, this guy's a freak. He's not even satisfied with his kill streak. I should call Saito. Kasuga-san, you said you found the murderer? Yeah, I got him. Oh, I, I can't believe he really exists. We should reveal his face. Hmm? Huh? No freaking way. You're the heir to GA's meat. Wait, meats? Yeah. See that butcher shop there? That's GA's meats. He's the son of the owner. His name's G.A. The store's named after him. Supposedly, he's going to inherit the shop one day. What are you doing out here? I'm not a good butcher. So I was practicing. Wanted to be a moon. Oh, yeah. I remember his old man saying something like that. I seem to recall him complaining about how his son makes a bloody mess of the place every time he tries to use his knife. So let me get this straight. He was going out alone in this crazy mask to practice cutting up his meat in peace? Sure seems like it. Next thing you know, somebody takes his picture and he's all over the internet. Well, it might not have been a thing if it weren't for the freaky ass mask. Does it put you in the mood for slicing or something? Keep the blood off my face. I used to play amateur hockey. Oh, sure. So there wasn't a mass killer after all, huh? Oh man, sorry about that. All that investigation, it turns out it's just some guy from the shopping district. Appreciate you looking into it, though. Why don't you take this for your trouble? I'm just glad we figured it out. It was nothing but a bunch of BS. But you've got to stop freaking people out, G.A. son. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be sure to practice in my room next time. Well, now that I know there's no murder around, <laughs> I think I can start sleeping well again. Maybe I'll get a drink on my way home. Care to join me, G.A. son? Okay. All right, that's one. How about you, Kasuga? No, I'll pass. Maybe next time. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go, GA. <sighs> Case closed, I guess. I'm sure the rumors will work themselves out soon. Wait, if he's going to a bar still wearing that mask... Ah! It's the mask killer! Hey, wait! It's not what it looks like. He was just practicing his meat cutting. No! Someone help me! Well, maybe it'll take a little longer than soon.
kind of in the mood for chocolate. Should we stop by a convenience store? Can we go play pachinko instead? What? If you want to play pachinko, why didn't you just say so instead of whining about chocolate? No, the chocolate prizes are actually pretty good. I feel you. Man, now I want some chocolate too. Then we're off to the pachinko parlor. I swear. Man, me. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。いらっしゃい。
ありがとう<笑>どちらまで行かれますそれでは出発いたよ。Go.
ました。すみませんでした。ありがとうございます。Joining us on our tour today, I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two, and for that, I apologize. No, no, it was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary, but you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh no, I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, Miss. Oh, Miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The swine latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, swine latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance. So, by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, Miss? 
Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Uh, thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Thanks bye a bye. Kasuka-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forgive me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first. But when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. All right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Ayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuka-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly? Hmm? Oh, please, dear. Oh, right. That was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. <laughs>